everyone, it's Mrs Salloway, hope you're doing okay. I've come on this morning and um, I'm going to do you an assembly about superhero strength. Everybody do this, yeah, strength. Okay, uh, we're going to talk about outer strength but also inner strength and how important it is to have inner strength. And there's three words that I want you to think about. One's resilience. One's endurance and one is determination. I want you to have a think about what what you think that those words mean, okay, during this assembly. So we're going to talk about superheroes. What is your favourite, who, sorry, is your favourite superhero? Have a little think about that. My son's favourite superhero used to be, I mean he's 14 now, but when he was little, when he was 7 or 8, he absolutely absolutely loved Spider-Man. Who else loves Spider-Man? Got really really great powers, um, he got super strength, he could spin webs, um, he could stick to walls, he could climb walls, um, he can swing between walls, yeah. He had endurance so he, you know he could run and he could um, keep going no matter what like any superhero. Um, and he got spider sense, so he could see if somebody was evil or whether something bad was going to happen. He could actually see that. Amazing superpowers, isn't it, Spider-Man? Really, really good. And also, my son loved, who knows whose helmet this is. Yeah, this is Iron Man. So I'll have to bring this in to show you. Absolutely amazing dressing up helmet this is. It actually makes noises as well. Um, but yeah, Iron Man was actually very clever. He used technology to make this amazing armour. And this armour allowed him to fly. He got super speed and super strength using this armour. Iron Man. Obviously, this um, superwoman as well. Lots of different powers. But you know... This is all outer strength and um, outer powers, isn't it? But what about inside? Do you think as a superhero, they might need something called resilience and endurance and determination? Because that's part of being a superhero as well, the inner strength. And that's what we're going to talk about today as well. So let's go back to resilience. What does it actually mean? So if the teachers can pause here, pause the video if you want to discuss this with your class. But um, if not, I'm just going to explain what they are. So resilience means the capacity to recover quickly from difficulties or toughness. Something that's really, really important that you know, if things don't always go our way, do they? Sometimes life can be hard and sometimes things go wrong, a bit like a superhero. Sometimes life doesn't always go well for them and they have to have something called resilience that even though things have gone wrong, that they're going to get back up again. They're going to recover and they're going to be determined and that's going to be the next word that we're going to talk about. So determination is the ability to continue trying to do something even though it's really really difficult yeah so endure so sorry determination is yeah not giving up again no matter what's going off you know with the coronavirus as well that you know we don't need to give up that we can continue and we can have an inner strength not just an outer strength and then also the next word, endurance. This is the ability to keep going over a long period of time. So think about running a marathon or something like that or learning to play an instrument or maybe your maths or some other kind of learning. You know, sometimes we have to continue over a long period of time. Yeah, we have to keep going. Um, over a long period of time to learn something or to achieve something and that's what endurance is we know, we're not going to give up halfway that we're just going to keep going 
and that's all part of our inner strength. So superheroes, you know, they're not just outwardly strong, but they're inwardly strong as well. And that's really, really important. I'm just going to talk about now three people who had resilience, endurance and determination. Who knows somebody called Bear Grylls? I'm sure everybody's heard of him. Quite famous, he's on tech TV. He does a lot of survival shows, doesn't he? Um, and a lot of um, exploring type shows. But Bear Grylls is somebody who is, is, is a survivor. So he might pitch up his tent somewhere in the middle of nowhere. He might not really have any food or anything much really. And he's got to survive for a whole month on his own in a tent. Yeah? Do you think he might need resilience and endurance and determination to do something like that? Have a think about it. Do you think he needs to, you know, be determined that he can do this? That he's not going to give up? So even when he can't find food or he's got to climb a big mountain to get to the next place he needs to go, do you think he's going to need endurance? He's going to have to carry on. Yeah? But yeah, he got interested, I think, in exploring because he, he went to the Scouts. I don't know if anybody else um, goes to Scouts here, but I know it's an amazing thing that you can do, and I think you go camping and other things. Obviously, when the coronavirus is finished, I suppose we're not going to clubs at the moment. But when that's all over, you know, Scouts is one of those places where Bear Grylls learnt all his survival skills. Also, another person I want to talk about is Dwayne Johnson. Now, he is actually a bodybuilder, so he's very, very, very strong. Um, he was the actor in a film called Jumanji. Who's seen Jumanji? Absolutely amazing film, children's film. It's a PG though, so you do have to watch it with your parents. Really, really good film. It's got Dwayne Johnson in it. But he says in a lot of his quotes that he had to have resilience. He had to have endurance and he had to have determination to be a bodybuilder because it's not easy. It's not easy to be that strong. And you have to endure, even when it's really, really difficult. And they had to have a lot of determination that, you know, when he, when he wanted to feel like giving up, that he didn't give up. Okay, and that's like us. When we go through difficult things, we don't want to give up. We need to carry on. We need to get back up. We need to be resilient. And another person who showed resilience was an explorer and he explored the North Pole and the South Pole and his name was Ranulf Fins, okay? And it was an amazing exploration that he did and um, he travelled many, many, many miles in the bitter cold, often getting frostbite, that's where it's that cold that your fingers just, you know, Ooh, they go, they go awful, and um, it's just really, really, really cold, and it's a really, really hard place to be, the North and the South Pole. Although there's a lot of wildlife, lots of penguins, lots of different birds and sea animals, so it's an amazing place for nature, but it's very difficult for humans to be there because it's so cold. But do you think that he needed resilience? endurance and determination to do the exploration that he did and yes he did he needed to continue even when there was problems even when it was really 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 difficult and um, when he's picking a team he said that he doesn't pick people that are necessarily got all of the skills but he looks to see if they have determination. He looks to see if that person is kind. He looks to see if that person 
um, has got a level head. That means that we're not just going to give up, we're not going to get nasty, we're not going to fly off the handle, but we're going to be a good human being. Okay? And I think really superheroes are the same. They might be super strong, but they also have the responsibility of those powers that they're going to use the powers for good because they could use their powers for bad, couldn't they? And do you think that's right? Using powers for bad. It's not, is it? They have to make sure that they're kind inside and it's something called character. We need to make sure that our character is good. Okay. And that's linked to our starfish, isn't it? Sportsmanship is the same. Sometimes we lose, don't we, in life? We don't always win. It's lovely when we win. Sometimes we lose. But we have to have something called resilience. So even if we might lose sometimes, even when it's difficult, that we get back up again, that we can recover. And, you know, that um, despite the obstacles we can still be a good person and a nice person. Okay, I'm just going to finish with the words called try everything. Because I know we sing this in assembly and I thought the words were really, really good just to remind you. So the words, I messed up tonight, I lost another fight. I still mess up, but I'll just start again. I keep falling down, I keep on hitting the ground. But I always get up now to see what's next. Birds don't just fly, they fall down and get up. Nobody learns without getting it wrong. I won't give up, no, I won't give in. Till I reach the end and then I'll start again. No, I won't leave, I want to try everything. I want to try even though I could fail. I won't give up, no, I won't give in. Till I reach the end. And then I start again. I'm going to try everything. And I think that sums up really resilience, endurance and determination. That we're going to try everything. That we, we're going to get back up again. And I'm just going to finish with this quote. A hero. So we've been talking about superheroes. A hero is an ordinary individual. So that's somebody like us. Who finds strength to persevere and endure in spite of overwhelming obstacles. So overwhelming obstacles means those things that are difficult. So we're going to find strength to carry on even when things are overwhelmingly difficult. And I know that we can do it, we can do it together. I know it's difficult with the coronavirus and I know that we can keep strong. Let's be a superhero, yeah? Let's have that resilience, that strength, and let's remember our character as well. That we'll, we'll be, continue to be kind and be t continue to be good and have sportsmanship. Okay, so take care and um, I hope you've enjoyed this assembly about superhero strength. Take care then, see you, bye!